Pearson. Mr. Pearson? Hi there. Oh, what time did I go to sleep? Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. Did they see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. How you doing? Don't die. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? How was it looking around Blackwater when you got Sean? Not good. Never drinking again. Until later today. <laughs> there he is. It doesn't happen. <laughs> reading betrayal in your world, Miss Grimshaw? Not reading, miss. Idleness. Idleness is betrayal because it means I work so you don't have to. That's not right, is it? I guess not, miss. You're right not, missy! On! I can't suppose you.
my back. Yep.
Clear the wagon, sir. Ah, sons of bitches. Be quiet. Look you ain't serious, going nowhere. Huh? Just what in the hell is your problem? I'll kill all of you. You just shut up back there. Hey there. Can you give me a ride to the nearest town? Get on board. Thanks, mister.
shall find peace. Help the blind. Maybe you shall see. for the blind penny for and help a blind man Here. I see the morrows and see them clearly sir even when all reason is lost and all truth has become lie, you will stand firm. For loyalty is both your saving and your curse. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Yeah. I expect you'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. You tell me. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. So I must have gone to sleep. What a night. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Arthur, come here a minute. What is it? 
Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I trust all's well. Can't complain. We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. Don't know getting in. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. Feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Yeah. You see that deer? All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Arthur. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line, swing the rod back over your shoulder, and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. 
I think you've got a bite. Look. Whoop, think I got one. Is it a big one? You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, oh, Jack, it's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try my luck over there. Fish on the line. This one's a red fin pickerel. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit. Wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it. From Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. 
while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Okay, my girl. Yeah. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What does he mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. But did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> there you are! How you boys getting on? Great! We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Okay. Mr. Arthur. This actually ain't half bad. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly. He's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Hey, Arthur. Miss Cat, all good? Too good. I'd like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. 
Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. Yeah. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, 
All the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I'm in. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, so you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards Rhodes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we've knocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John? Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody... Mr. Marsh! Mr. Smith! Mr. McGuire! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Bastard! All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Everybody stay calm! Everybody will get shot! Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! What did I do? There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! Please! I'm not a bad man! I ain't got nothing! Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Just put the gun down! I beg of you! Don't molest me, please! Deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? Don't Come on! Please. 
Everything you got. People actually make me Money? sick. Nothing else. You think we're playing games. Make me hurt you. Maybe what you got, Mister. You don't get hurt. Stop it! Don't you see? I want to count to three. Hey, we're dying Mr. over here. Why you tell him, Mister? I beg him. Oh God! Here. Thank you. Empty your pockets, Mister. You can be on your way. Mister Robert. Don't need all your money, my friend. You sure about that? No, go ahead and look for the baggage car. Good job. Quick, come on! Please. Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Maybe what you got, mister. You won't get her. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over my friend then. Give me everything you got on you. Chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Hush, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither you get killed. Goddamn lippers. Eh? There's a few more of them turning up. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. Hey, unload on those son of bitches. Hey. Go kill on the left. Hit on the trees. Ah. Oh, coming through the trees, you see him?
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Now yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. And you weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Me twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? You know, raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? Yeah. He was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. 
Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Welcome, welcome. Morning there. Morning. Hey, mister. Morning. Good weather we're having. Mm-hmm. Hey there. Morning, partner. Did you need something else? See you again soon. Get on out of here. Welcome back. Good to see you again. You must have done some real trouble to acquire this kind of price on your head. Bye. That's quite a sum. I hope you learned your lesson. See you around.
Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Trist told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. They took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Easy. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah!
guys out of here. No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Baylock! Come on, boy! Here. Buy a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Get things done. Shit! Now we're being run! Get across the river! <laughs> <laughs> Dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is just such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors, on account of, well, this little mess. Just thought you'd want the honors. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun.
come back for you. I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you to the nearest tree with this goddamn rope. God this is uh, very kind of you. Don't. Holy oh. shit! Found you, Arthur. They got Bill. What? Who has him? Bountyman. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah. Well. You All coming? All right. Lead the way. So how'd you find him? He said he was going hunting. Never returned. I was able to track him pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Okay, we're getting close. There they are, on foot from here. Hey, you idiots never hear us. Stake out your position. You're gonna pay. You're all right, girl. You have no idea what hell is coming your way. We're shaking in our boots. <laughs> when you are, Arthur.
dollars for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Uh, what's next? trying to make me uncomfortable? So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was surprised, Pony, once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... We're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Leave the work for the rest of us. Folk healthy don't need a lot of room for rest. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here.
good? Sure. Let's go. Come on, girl. Why couldn't you have done that? Lord, done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there. Get a proper view. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Without the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Those cowboys I know were... Dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Yeah. Okay, then. the sheep to me. You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. 
This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Yeah! Let's go! There you go! Out, we're losing some. This will go a lot faster if you shut up, Marston. Those are up, boys. There you go. sheep they're okay well, you seen better around here I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance <laughs> a lot less what are you trying to say I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback and I won't say nothing to nobody everything all right here excuse me sure I'll excuse you for 25% do you want me to put another hole in your head folks swing for rustling livestock 25 percent. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, never really was. Whoa. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. 
Compromise us. Compromise it. Well, I have never been a man for comp... Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Meepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. What the hell? Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You I got where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor to be this
Let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs>
Hey. Hello, Arthur. Hi there, Arthur. Hey, Abigail. What the hell happened in Valentine with you and John? Hi, Uncle Arthur. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Ah, uh, don't worry about them, okay? Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? You turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. So, we moving? Yeah. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. I thought you meant now, Arthur. to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? 
moving, running. Judge don't see it as rough. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. Hey, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. It seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure it'd be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. <laughs> He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. He don't need it now. You see there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? M men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Okay, looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons, anyway, when you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right.
continues along the shore here. So, anyway, bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Careful. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real... Wait a second, just want to look closer here. carry on along this trail. Now, as I was saying, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago, he did, and we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiving him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Hold! Seems deserted. Let's take a look. <laughs> Easy. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. Todd, I'll see what they've left behind for us. Helfen Sie mir. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Back to your family. Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah.
Dem Herrgott sei Dank! Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Thank mm -hmm. you.